In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, rotations of 180 degrees. And I'll talk about the clockwise, counterclockwise thing in the, in the second example, although it would also apply here. So um, we're going to start with this uh, rectangle um, with the corners at A, B, C, and D. So um, 180 degrees is exactly half of a circle rotation. Okay, um, a full rotation is, a, is 360 degrees, half of 360 is 180. So um, some people will call it a half turn because it's going a half way around the circle. So to show you the circle part, if I, I'm gonna start with A here. So I'm gonna draw a circle uh, that has um, A, it's, uh, A is the, dis, the radius distance from the origin. Uh, we're rotating about the origin. And so this point is gonna rotate over here like this. So it's exactly across the circle. And, and by that I mean exactly on the other side of the circle. Now a way to know exactly where you put it is I'm going to draw uh, two triangles here. And I'll, then I'll simplify that to just drawing a line segment afterwards. You see this A point from the origin it's three to the right and two up. So if we're going exactly on the opposite side of that circle then this point down here would be three to the left and then two down. Okay, so those three and two are the same three and two here. It's just instead of going right three and up two, I'm going left three and down two to get to the other side of the circle. So if we get rid of those, so that's where point A will be. So let's do uh, B next. So using the same thing as, you know, it's so many units uh, to the right and up, um, the B, see the B point is three units to the right and eight up. So B's image will be three units to the left, so the opposite of this three to the right, and then eight down. So that, and there's the circle there, so you can see the point rotating around the circle. There is exactly on the other side of that circle. So similar with uh, C, the C point, see its, its coordinates are seven, eight, so it's seven to the right of the origin and eight up. So if we go seven to the left and eight down, that's where that point's going to rotate exactly on the other side of that circle. I didn't draw the circle for that one because uh, this line segment is really sufficient then. And then D as well. So you see D is seven units to the right and two up. So if we go seven units to the left and two down, that's where D is going to rotate to. And so these are the coordinates of A and B and C and D, it's the image of them. And so there's the rectangle. So notice that a, 3, 2, changed into a prime, negative 3, negative 2. b, the 3, 8 point, changed into negative 3, negative 8. c, 7, 8, changed into negative 7, negative 8. And d was 7, 2, so d prime is negative 7, negative 2. So notice in each case, the x coordinate just changed its sign, and the y coordinate changed its sign. x coordinate changed its sign y coordinate changed its sign. So, so this is the rule for rotating 180 degrees. The x becomes the opposite sign of x and the y becomes the opposite sign of y. Now, uh, if one of these points had been, one of these coordinates or both of them had been negative, that would just mean that they would become positive. Okay, they just get the opposite sign. So let's take a look at the triangle here now. Uh, so it says rotate uh, triangle DEF 180 degrees counterclockwise and then we're going to talk about rotating it clockwise 180 degrees. So let's do the counterclockwise first. So uh, I'm going to start with point D here and I'll draw the circle again with uh, D as the distance from the origin as the radius of that circle. So again we go on exactly on the opposite side. So you see D is 2 to the left of the origin and 3 up. So D's image will be 2 to the right and 3 down. So there's the 180 degree counterclockwise rotation. We can get rid of those. So that's D prime. So uh, similar with E, uh, there's the circle. So there's going to be the exact opposite. And again, you don't really have to draw the circle. I just do it so you can kind of see the point rotating around the circle. So uh, the point E's coordinates are 2, 7. So if we go 2 to the right, 7 up, then the image over here has to be 2 to the left and 7 down. So that's where E looks, what E, e prime looks like. And then we'll do F as well. So again, F is uh, 8, 1, so it's 
8 to the right, 1 up. So if we go 8 to the left, 1 down, that's where the image of f is going to be. f prime is negative 8, negative 1, get rid of the circle, and we can draw in our triangle. So I want to list the coordinates. Uh, uh, d was negative 2, 3, it became 2, negative 3. So there's an example of, you see, the x coordinate of d was negative and now it's positive. It just changed its sign. Uh, e was 2, 7, became negative 2, negative 7, and f was 8, 1, became negative 8, negative 1. So again, the rule is x, the x, y point changes into negative x, negative y. Opposite sign of each is what happens in a 180 degree counterclockwise rotation. Now let's talk about the clockwise for a minute. You see a, a circle, actually let's go back and so you can see one of the circles there for a moment. There we go. Okay. So you see if I rotate 180 degrees to get to that point, actually I guess if I went back one more you could see it rotating. So there's the 180 degree rotation. You see if that's 180 uh, counterclockwise, 180 clockwise would be like this. So it's, it's, it takes you to exactly the same point. So it doesn't really matter when you're doing 180 degrees, whether you say clockwise, counterclockwise, or clockwise, it takes you to the same place. So let's I'm gonna finish putting all these back. So for example, uh, this point E here, if I were to actually show you what the clockwise rotation looks like, it looks like this. So it takes you to exactly the same point. So again, you don't need the clockwise counterclockwise thing for 180 degrees because it takes you to exactly the same place. So, so that's what it looks like when you rotate um, 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. And again, the, the rule is the X and Y coordinates just change sign to get to that opposite point across the origin. And that's the end of the tutorial.